Welcome to the Automobili Pininfarina stand at the Geneva Motor Show 2019. Now it's worth pointing out that this is separate to the Pininfarina SPA stand which is somewhere over there because this is a company now based in Munich as opposed to Turin and this is a standalone company producing a car. This, the quite wild Batista. This is an, an EV. It produces 1,900 brake horsepower, 1,696 pounds foot of torque, all from a 120 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, which is, the systems are, there are four motors, one for each wheel, so torque vectoring, which we'll get to in a minute. And it's all produced by Rimac, and the batteries are in a sort of T-shape behind me and then down this central spine here. The performance figures, as you might imagine, pretty extraordinary so not 60 miles an hour in under two seconds but this one's quite extraordinary not to 186 miles an hour so that's not to 300 kilometers an hour in under 12 seconds even the McLaren Speedtail down there can't quite match that I think that's 12.3 to 186. Helping bring the car back to a stop a 390 millimeter carbon ceramic brakes range well that's going to be about 300 miles and they say that they'll be able to replenish up to 80 percent of that range in just 40 minutes on a rapid charge it's got a carbon fiber monocoque which if you look around in here then i can see all sorts of carbon fiber they haven't released a weight for it yet uh, but they're going to produce 150 of them priced at two million pounds each the interior well I love this arrangement of the screens here. It sort of gives a, they call it a sort of vanishing point look, and it really does, it focuses you in on this little screen in the middle, which looks from the outside a bit like a sort of mobile phone placed in uh, portrait mode um, with the speed there. So it's almost a little bit like a sort of head up display in the way that it appears in your vision. There's a reasonable amount of room. It's a little bit cramped, a bit more cramped than say the equivalent Ferrari. Talking of which, the looks, um, quite a lot of people have likened it to a 488 or I suppose an F8 as it now is. Uh, it feels a bit bigger but it is its own thing and they, they wanted it to look like a car that was recognisably a supercar so not breaking away from that too much and why would they in a way? They've, they've been designing supercars for ages so why not you know, use some of that? So no it's not perhaps as, as wild or extraordinary or extreme as some people might have expected but equally I think it's made a lot more people think that it's much more real and more accessible and made them think that yeah an EV car with 1900 brake horsepower is a reality which is still just bizarre. Of course setting up all that torque vectoring is going to be no mean task luckily they have somebody on the case Nick Heidfeld because the company is owned by Mahindra which is the Indian industrial giant and he races for Mahindra racing in Formula E so quite a task. Anyway let us know what you think 1900 brake horsepower EVs this is a thing that's actually going to make people really really want an EV supercar let us know.